It's now time for Overreaction Monday. That was terrible. That was crap. That was garbage. This place sucks. Overreaction Mondays. Monday. Monday. All right, Christopher. Hit oh, it, I love it. We're back. We're okay, back. Oh, baby. We're back. Okay, goodness. guys. Let's start with Green Bay. Pissed off. Aaron Rodgers has all of y'all's off-season receipts. I think so. Yep. I don't think that's an overreaction at all. I think um, he he's talking up. Uh, Valdez Scantling as well. Marquez Valdez Scantling, who almost had 100 yards receiving yesterday. Devontae Adams had as many catches yesterday as uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Four touchdowns, 364 yards passing for Aaron Rodgers. Jordan Love, you can stay nailed to the bench, sir. Even Brett Favre, even Brett, he was inactive yesterday, but even Brett Favre, as you know, when the Jordan Love pick took place and he came on our show and he said that he's spoken to to Aaron yeah and you know what he say Aaron was uh he didn't use the word upset I I forget what he said but it definitely made some news right and he did say though that he could see that if Rogers started 0-2 0-3 that that Jordan Love would be thrown in there well there's no Owen whatever and he's throwing it to Valdez Scantling and one dart to Devontae Adams for a score that was him, vintage Rodgers, rolling to his right, uncorking a cannon to a perfectly, uh, with a perfectly thrown ball, perfectly placed for a touchdown to Adams. Rodgers told Favre he was surprised. Surprised. They went Remember that? Yeah. Oh, my gosh, does he have the receipts. And the 43, this is great. This is one of my favorite stats. Although, you know what we'll do? I'll save this for an old gen stat. We haven't done, oh, done old gen whoa. stat. We haven't done old gen stats in a while, right? We'll do that later on, okay? Love it. This is an old gen stat if there ever was one. Oh, very good. Old gen stats. Very good. Right in the middle of overreaction Monday. The 43 points by Green Bay. Most the Packers have scored in a season opener since scoring 53 points against. Menno Mini, I think that's how you pronounce it. The Menno Mini North End Athletic Club. What? In 1919. Jeez. So I guess since the last pandemic. <laughs> nice. Most points Mike Zimmer's team's ever allowed. He's got to be pissed off and peeling Ooh. the paint, man. Yeah, that wasn't good. So, that yes, good. that is a proper reaction He's got the receipts, no and last year's back. team that almost made the one seed certainly showed up in week one. And let's just go all in here. The defense, nobody talks about. I know they gave up 34 points. There's a lot of garbage time, to use the Marv Albert phrase. Jair Alexander, fifth player uh, in the last 20 years to record a sack, interception, and safety in the same game. So, what else you got over there, Christopher? Good. Okay, guys. Hey, with Cam Newton... The AFC East is still the Patriots' division to lose. <laughs> That's an overreaction. Oh it? come on! Yeah, no, it's no, no, it's not their division. It's the it's the divi- it, it, it's the Bills' division to win. The Bills did what they were supposed to do. They were supposed to take a lesser opponent in the Jets and beat them up, spit them out, and say, "See you next time." Cam looked terrific. I thought Cam looked strong. Cam looked like the two-way threat he needs to be. Edelman didn't have a, a lot of snaps, but still led the league, uh, still led the team in receiving. Um, I, I texted, uh, I tweeted out, and I think you responded. Like Patriots fans are wondering where this Fitz magic was in Week 17 last yeah, right. last year. I mean, yes. and then later on, we'll get to it. Patriots uh, were getting set to blow this team away until the worst rule in football reared its ugly head with Nikhil Harry fumbling into the end zone and the uh, Dolphins' defense that had given up about 90 million yards that entire drive got bailed out, and that's how the Dolphins wound up scoring their only touchdown of the day. So, it's still the Bills' division, sir. The Bills are stacked, and the Bills have a young quarterback um, taken. There's two quarterbacks taken in the first round of that draft, sir, that had stellar... Sundays and Josh Allen's one of them the other one is the defending MVP of our league Lamar Jackson so that's an overreaction it's still the Bills t- uh, division to win all right let's go back to the AFC Rich you nailed this with your higher register the Jaguars not as bad as we all hey, think how about the Jacksonville Jaguars 
Gardner, Gardner Minshew can make plays. 19 for 20. LaVisca Chenault Jr. Hey, that kid God from bless Colorado. You. Thank you. DJ Shark, he scored. Cole scored. All those receivers scored. Not as bad. Hey, <laughs> they put pressure on Phillip Rivers when they had to. They did had it, fans. They did it for the fans. Hey. Guess what? Broncos win tonight. Jacksonville Jaguars are the only team in the division with a win. First place. That's correct. Jaguars may not be that bad. <laughs> Jaguars may not be I just that actually bad. went lower register for that. May not be that bad. Yeah, there's another team that uh, should have their eye on Trevor Lard, sadly. But we'll get to that. Standby, but how about by. that Gardner Minshew, baby? Good. That guy's got, he's just got the, got the flow, got honestly, the Honestly, it's really a Burt Reynolds movie every time he's out there. Longest yard. That's so much fun. <laughs> All right, let's go, to, Jags. let's go to a team that's actually bad. Uh, it's going to be the same old Browns this year, guys. You know what? I am i can't go there yet. I can't go there yet. I won't go there yet, just for the sake of all you Browns fans out there. I can't go there yet, but what a patently, thoroughly disappointing week one beatdown where it didn't even look like they wanted to play. What should be Baker Mayfield's forte? The Baker who, you know, plants flags, and the Baker who doesn't shake hands, and the Baker Mayfield who's supposed to lead with his swagger is absolutely staggering right now. And he and Beckham are ill-matched until I see otherwise, I can't say otherwise. They have so many talented players at so many positions. Honestly, with Chubb and Kareem Hunt and Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham and Hooper and Joku, that should be enough weaponry for Baker Mayfield to put more than six points on the board, I'll tell you that. What week does Odell demand a trade? Uh, <laughs> I don't, again. To New England. Chris, it's a week-to-week -week league. It's an overreaction league. The Browns host the Bengals on NFL Network yeah. in three nights. There we go. Honestly, we could be coming on Friday's show saying, singing a whole different tune. So for the moment, I will say that's an overreaction. You mentioned the Bengals. Let's just skip to them real quick. Yes. Uh, Joe Burrow got the full Bengals experience sure yesterday. Did. I'll tell you what, man. Uh, I didn't see a kid with 60 touchdown passes having his first NFL touchdown be a 23-yard run up the middle. but it that's and, 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 it. and it stood up for a while yeah. because the Chargers were having issues on the road, putting points on the board and moving the ball and were – Suffering injuries, like to that kid Jackson, their running back. And it had all the makings of a Charger loss until the Bengals outchargered the Chargers <laughs> by coming so close to winning, only to have the rug pulled out from under them by having a touchdown call back due to offensive pass interference incurred by their best player in A.J. Green forcing a field goal kick by Randy Bullock that looked so terrible and was so ridiculous a miss that Bullock said, as you could see on the screen right here, he suffered a cramp while kicking it. Now, does that reek of the Chargers or what? Now, you could say that's the Bengals. That's the way Chargers lose games, but the Bengals did. So I can't wait to see Joe Burrow. It's going to be his only nationally televised game unless NBC somehow flexes into Cincinnati later Ooh, this year, which would be, be highly something. doubtful. And the only uh, the, uh, it's the first nationally televised game for Burrow since the national championship game. That's a pretty big game Thursday night, by the way. I think you're right. But this is not an overreaction. I mean, uh, they get, uh, actually, I guess the reaction is they out they got out they outchargered the Chargers. Right. That's funny. Right. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.